what's going on guys I'm here with this little uh, motorcycle doesn't really have a name uh, the thing that was really surprising is when I went to go look back on Amazon to see if I can find it the seller that I bought it from I uh, it just said currently unavailable and this little guy was pricey I think it was like $28 with taxes like 30 bucks I mean it was, it was 30 bucks like $32 you know so uh, when I went back, I looked and it was fifty-one dollars, guys. That's that's crazy. That is way too expensive for this little guy. Even for thirty-two dollars, it's too expensive. If it doesn't perform as good as it should, you know. And it, I wish they would take that into consideration and lower the price down. But I don't know. I, I, it could have went up because of inflation or it could have just went up because the people that are selling it are jerks, you know? But uh, I figured we'd do a little test run here in the apartment, you know? Don't, I don't really want to take it outside because when I did the last one outside, you couldn't even see it. it it's so little, you just, you couldn't even see it. So I'm going to try to do it inside. This is mostly where people are going to play with it at, inside the house. So that's what I want to do, just uh, mess around with it here. And uh, you got to, we'll go ahead and give a little quick look over, just in case you didn't see any of the videos on it. So here's a little guy here, very nice. You can see it comes with the stand, so it can stand right there. And it just looks really, really great. It's a, it's, I leave it on my shelf. It's a really nice looking uh motorcycle it looks it looks really cool tire is made of rubber these are both decent rubber really good rubber um right here's where your battery goes right there so you just unscrew that and slide in your battery it does use a light bulb so that's a good thing you know at least it's not a dedicated battery um built quality is pretty good pretty good uh just the only thing it's not very stable guys so I seen another guy who like put some, um, he put like some more paper clips or something with these little balls on them, and then the motorcycle wouldn't um, it wouldn't really tip over like this, you know. So it just just had enough space to just fall this way or this way, you know. So I don't know. I was thinking about maybe doing that if I can without screwing it up, but. Most likely, I probably won't. It's a really cool looking um, motorcycle, RC, and I don't want to destroy it. Either. So that's the RC, you know, pretty cool looking. We're going to put it back in its stand here. Okay, so put that right there. And here's its transmitter, guys. A pretty good transmitter. Not bad. Very nice looking. Um, does the trick. Takes two double A's. It also has this, so if you take that off there, and uh, we pull this off here, you can now put it here if you are a lefty. So if you're a lefty, I, I actually drive with this side, this hand, which is my left. So it does work pretty good. Um, so you just pop this little button here, push it in. And you can just put it back right here where it originally goes. Let me just pop this back into place, guys. All right. Wait. Is that in there? Let's see. Yeah, it's in there. Nope. Hmm. Let's try it this side. I haven't messed with this thing in so long. Oh, there you go. That's how it goes on. All right. So I'm going to put it back on this side here. There we go. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's this little battery. It's got a little guy, just a little battery. Kind of wish it was bigger. Uh, what's the... Man, this thing's small. I can't even read that. It looks like it says, let's see if I can see it in the light, 120 mAh. So this is a really tiny battery, guys. Really small. 
but it, it does it does okay it's not the best battery though um, this little guy also has a gyro inside of it but before I say that um, let me just show these two things so we got fast and slow so you just move this dial or over here and you can go slow or fast and I believe this was for its trimming I think you see that throttle trim or something so this is another trim here I really don't mess around with them I don't want to screw it up these things can get real picky let me go ahead and put this back on all right looks good looks really good guys it's a really nice looking RC. So let's go ahead and pop this open. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this screwdriver set. And I will leave a link to this, guys. I bought this because I kept on doing work on the RCs. And uh, a lot of times my screwdrivers didn't fit. They were not long enough. They did fit, but they were not long enough. And uh, some of them, I just didn't have those sizes. So I bought this for 17 bucks. It was $16, and uh, I got it. So let me go ahead and grab one of these. I believe it's this one here. Take this, put it in here. And we'll go ahead and take this part off, this side. That's where our battery is. I mean, that's where we put our battery. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Man, these things work great. And see that? That's really good. So they're magnetized. So you're not going to lose anything, you know? And uh, let's take this little guy off. It does have a pinch here. So you see that? How it pinches? So I like that too. Uh, the battery just goes in here like this. So let me pop this battery in real quick. Okay, so it's in. You can see that. And then just squeeze this little guy in there. All right, and there it is. You're done. You can grab this, put that back here. All right, there it is. So grab the little screwdriver. You might not need to put it on guys, but you don't want to lose this piece here. So just be safe and put it back on. And remember, don't over tighten. There it is, just a few turns. You don't need to go ballistic on it. All right. And it has an on and off switch right here. You guys could see that. Hopefully it's focusing properly. Okay, so there's your on and off switch, and uh, if when you turn it on, it will not turn on, and uh, that's because you need to turn the transmitter on first. So if yours doesn't turn on, you know, don't don't poop the bed yet, you know. So you just gotta turn on the transmitter first. So let's do that. All right, so you just turn on the transmitter. There you go. It is on. It gives a little blinking indication. I like that so you're not just in the dark if it's on or off. And there it is, guys. That's its gyro. So it's going to get pretty loud. It's a loud little guy. Everything is working. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, put that right here. See that? That's the gyro, so it's very loud, guys. So you've got that gyro in there, to try to keep it down. And uh, I guess we'll go ahead and give it a shot. See if I can get it to roll. I try to move the big old cat tower out of the way. So let's see what happens here, guys. Let's uh, actually, let me get something. All right, so I got this. This so I could go a little higher, so we could see what's going on here. And uh, let me turn it back on because it eats this battery fast. That gyro really sucks its power. And let's see what happens. Let me see if I can get this to run for us. See that, guys? Very difficult to use inside, but when it does start to run, it's actually pretty fast. 
it's just hard to uh, kind of, you got to have a really big area to use this. Oh man, I don't even think I'm going to be able to get it back over here. Oh man, see that? So I really can't recommend this toy. Not unless you're somebody who just wants a motorcycle that just looks sweet. I mean, it will work, guys. It will work. Yeah, guys. I'm just going into everything. See that? It's actually pretty fast when it does start to run properly. So let me go ahead and put it back here. So if you were thinking about grabbing this, you might not want to, guys. Look at it. See, it's way over there. And that's why I didn't want to take it out because it's so difficult to kind of control, you know? Let's see here. Man, I just can't get this guy to work. I'm going to have to go get it. All right. Got it. It's just too difficult to control. Yeah, it definitely needs to be modded. It keeps getting stuck in the grout over here too. So it definitely needs a... Uh, I need something to keep it like more stable. Like not falling down so much just lightly like this. Not big time like that, you know? Because when it does get rolling, guys, it, it, it does work, but you just need a huge area. See how it, like, falls down and that causes it to turn. But it still could be fun, you know, but... Yeah, I'm, it, I think that if I were to, like, just build something for it, like a piece of plastic that can go in there and uh, hold everything together, I think it might be pretty good. I'm kind of getting the hang of it. So what I'm talking about is... Let me turn this off. Gyro so damn loud. Uh, maybe I could just build something that can uh, slide in here. Maybe a couple paper clips and uh, these right here I could just get something and mount them in and kind of or even see that how you could see through his body here there is some space to slide in some sort of pin see that so right where his body is there I could slide in a really big um, you know like a paper clip and try to drag it down here and then bend them so that that way when I'm using it, it doesn't tilt so much. It's tilting to the point where it's basically churning. It's churning. So you really, I mean, when I did the video on this, guys, it it was uh, all over the place, you know. But it, it did better than what I'm doing in here. But you would think that something like this you would want to use inside you know so i think that if i modded it should do better than this not really a mod just more of a like you know messing around to figure it out see that i could fit a paper clip or some sort of metal rod here and then what i would do is uh, put it through here and then it would still be long to about right here i would have it going like this and then it will not tilt as much and it'll let me use it properly. This is just way too much tilting, guys. Right? Just way too much. So that just kind of sucks. So it's not really, I can't recommend this, guys. So if you're looking at this and you're if you're uh, looking at it wherever it is, it's pretty pricey. So you're thinking, oh, it's pricey because it works good. No, it's just pricey because they're jerks. So, uh, let's see if I can get this to go, guys.
All right, see it over here? See, it starts churning because it's too low to the floor. It's just way too low. But when it does work, look at that. It works great. It, that's the only thing holding it back. They put those little uh, ball things, they put them way too high up. They need to be lower than that. They can't be this high. So if they would have just put this, these longer, about this much longer, I could have bended them a little so that that way they don't make it tilt as much. Because when it does start to work, it is pretty fun. It, it is. That's the only thing holding it back. Yeah, I remember when I bought this, I thought it was expensive for the price, you know? I thought it was pricey because of the fact that it ran good, but no, that's that's not the case. I did see some guy on YouTube that hooked his up. Uh, he did exactly what I'm saying. He, he, like, made these rods lower so that that way the car doesn't tilt. That's, that's the problem with it. It shouldn't be tilting this much. It should only be around there or there. And that gyro in there isn't really doing anything but just sucking the battery dry. Because it's not keeping it stable in that thing. I mean, it does when it gathers speed, but it's not really keeping it stable. But it, you can see that. Look at that. Little guy's a screamer. That's at least 12 to 13 miles per hour right there if you could get it to run right. And when it does run, it, it looks cool. It does. It looks really awesome. But see, I just keep getting stuck in everything. Oh, well, I ain't getting it back from there. But when you do take it outside, guys, you will have a lot more fun with it. Because, you know, you'll have a lot of space. But you really need a nice flat surface. Look at that. I can't get this guy to run in the house. Yeah, that's full speed right there, and it looks awesome. When it is running, it does look cool. Oh, man, come on. Now he's gone. Yeah, I wish I could just run it for us a little better than this. Whoa. See, when it does work, it works. It's pretty cool. See that? There we go. Yeah, guys, that's the only thing holding it back. Are those little balls are way too low. If, they, if I could rig it, I'm going to have to rig it. Then I'll be back with this one. I'm going to try that whole paper clip thing. And uh, try to see what I could do to get this little guy to run. Because it, it's a shame. It does work decent. It does. When it starts running, it's actually pretty fun. And it looks cool, too. That's one thing about it. It just looks good. But it just does not run good indoors. And that's exactly where you want to use this at. Get this in the frame. It just keeps doing whatever it wants. See that? It's like I'm just churning the whole time. Oh, and there it goes again. It's in love with this fan over here, man. And the reverse doesn't want to work right there. Oh, that's it. Done, guys. Battery's gone. I could feel it. Feels warm. Gyro's making. I told you that gyro really sucks. It's sucks the battery down way too fast so i think i'm gonna try that i'm gonna look to see if i can find something or maybe i could uh melt through this and when i melt through it i can add a paper clip there you know like you know like owls like an owl so that that way it just slides against the floor and it, and, and it shouldn't do it like this. You know, this is just way too much lean in that. That's too much lean. 
It should be right here and right here. Like just, you know, like this. Because it actually does churn. It does churn the wheel. So it doesn't need this much lean into it. That's just way too much. Look at that. Then that's when it starts doing this. So really can't recommend this guy at all. If I recommend this and you guys buy this, you, you'll be losing hate mail for sure. So can't really recommend it, guys. But it, it is nice, though. Maybe if I fix it and uh, try to get it to run properly, then I can come back and show you guys. And then maybe it'll be worthy of purchasing. But I want to use it here in my apartment. I don't want to go outside with it. It's too small. So, uh, man, that kind of sucks. So I'm going to try to rig it up. I really am. I'll figure something out. Look at that suspension. Not so bad. Look at that. Even the front. Look at it. That is actually very good. See, this thing has potential. It's just they screwed up by making these too, um, too, too high. These things should be like right here. Not up there. Like right here so that that way it's just barely tilting over or you see how it holds itself up with this you just need like some sort of plastic here holding it so it doesn't tilt so much and then at least you could get some speed runs out of it even if it doesn't turn really left and right good at least you could get a couple of speed runs because look at those suspension guys look at that that's actually really good. It should absorb a lot of bumps. When they're this small, it doesn't matter if it's oil or not. So that's the end of this one, guys. I'll leave a link just in case if someone else wants to get it and mod it up because it is, it's got potential. But the battery dies fast, but you can always uh, chop another battery off and put a bigger one in there. You can fit a little bit longer battery, you know, like the kind that are in Bluetooth headphones. You can fit a little bigger one in there and then you'd be better off so it won't die so fast. But uh, it does have potential. I'll leave a link just in case, guys, but I don't recommend it. I, I don't. But, you know, you might have other plans for it or you might just be better at driving it, you know? So that's the end of this one. I'll leave a link, guys, and I'll be back with some more uh, things. I think I'm going to play up some video games today. It's real windy. wanted to fly a drone, but just way too windy today. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll be back with some more, some more videos.